They sat on the terrace, and many of the fishermen made fun of the old man, and he was not angry. Keep in mind that the terrace is this kind of bar, maybe, uh, where the boy took the old man uh, to have a beer, right? The boy is paying the old man a beer. Others of the older fishermen looked at him and were sad, but they did not show it, show it, and they spoke politely about the current and the depths they had drifted their lines. Uh, depth is the noun for deep. Deep is the, is the adjective. Depth is the noun. For example, you look at the pool. You cannot see the bottom of the pool and you say, I don't know the depth of this pool, so I'm not going to jump into it, right? So, uh, you can read a book and because the book is very complex, you can't understand the depths of the book, all right? Keep in mind when something is drifted, all right? It is taken. Uh, for example, imagine a plastic bag drifting through the wind. So the the plastic bag doesn't have a set direction. It's just drifting. All right. If you are a fisherman and you drift your lines, so it means that first of all you drop your line. You let your line down and then you let it drift, okay, with the current or maybe with uh, the movement of the boat. They had drifted their lines at, so you can drift your line at 10 meters, 20 meters, 30 meters, right? What is the depth you have drifted your lines? Why do you drift your lines? Well, you drift your lines with a bait so that a fish can catch it. So I imagine, depending on the fish you want to catch, you're going to drift your lines at a very deep place or a more shallow place. In the steady good weather and of what they had seen. Remember, if the weather is steady, the weather is not like this. The weather is not like the weather in Curitiba. The weather in Curitiba tends not to be steady because sometimes it's rainy and then it's sunny and then it's very windy and then it's cold and then it's hot, right? It's not steady weather. Remember, if you want to be a surgeon, you have to have steady hand. If you really need a drink, maybe your hand is not so steady, all right? The successful fishermen of that day were already in and had butchered their marlin. Marlin is a kind of fish that has a sword, you know, as a nose, all right? So it's, it's a very big fish. And remember, if you want to buy meat, probably you are going to the butcher. The butcher, butcher shop, for example, is the store specialized in meat. And the guy there at the butcher shop, as you can imagine, is called butcher, right? And what does a butcher do? Of course, a butcher can do many things, but one of the things a butcher can do is to butcher a bull, a pig, or something like that. That is kill in that case. So, the successful fishermen of that day, the ones who could catch a fish, were already in and had butchered their marlin out. Butcher out is the expression. And carried them, the marlin, the butchered marlin, full length across to planks. So imagine here is my huge uh, fish, bigger than a man, all right? I'm going to need pieces of wood, large pieces of wood. So I'm going to put one piece of wood here 
another piece of wood here and we call those pieces of wood plank plank is the the shape all right and i'm going to need four men to carry this fish okay one at each end of a plank all right <clears throat> um, butchered their marlin out and carried them full length full length all right uh, all the lying body of the fish all right across two planks with two men staggering at the end of each plank Keep in mind, you can stagger because you have uh, drunk a lot and now you can't walk properly. You can stagger because you are very dizzy, all right? Now you woke up and uh, the room is spinning, so you're going to walk, you know, almost falling. You can stagger. Or, of course, if you are carrying something very, very heavy, you're going to stagger as you walk carrying that thing uh, with two men staggering at the end of each plank to the fish house where they waited for the ice truck to carry them to the market in Havana remember that Havana pay a lot of attention to the pronunciation Havana right Havana so Havana is the capital of Cuba all right it's on the Gulf Stream, uh, sorry, on the Gulf of Mexico. Gulf Stream is uh, that other part of the book. What is the Gulf of Mexico? There is this area, you know, that has the, the south of the United States and the north of Mexico, all right? So there is a Gulf here, all right? Cuba is right here. You can see, of course, in, in a map. And Havana is exactly uh, in that part of the island. Those who had caught sharks had taken them to the shark factory on the other side of the cove. Keep in mind, when the ocean enters the land in a semicircular form, we can call that a bay. For example, here in Brazil, Guanabara Bay is a very famous bay, right? Or in uh, Bahia, we have uh, uh, Todos os Santos Bay, right? A cove is a small bay, right? It's a small bay. So, to the shark factory on the other side of the cove, where they were hoisted on a block in tackle. If you hoist something, imagine I want to carry a piano into my apartment on the 20th floor. But the piano doesn't fit the elevator, all right? I can try to disassemble the piano and then assemble again, but this is, would be huge work, you know, take the parts out of the piano. Or I can get a block and tackle right here, right? And a rope, I can tie the piano here and I can hoist the piano until it's on the, uh, on the height of my window. And then I can take the piano into my apartment through the window. Keep in mind, you can also hoist a flag, right? So you have the flag pole. You're going to put the flag here close to you on the ground. And then you are going to hoist the flag. Okay. <clears throat> so those sharks were hoisted on a block in tackle. Their livers removed their fins cut off. Remember, sharks and fish in general don't have arms. They have fins. They use, they use them to swim, right? <clears throat> uh, their livers removed, their fins cut off, and their hides skin. 
One of the most horrible tortures is to skin a man alive. How do you skin a man alive? You get the skin of the man out by cutting it and pulling the skin. All right? Now, look, people have skin, but animals... We usually don't say skin, we say hide. Well, if I get uh, a bull, for example, I'm going to skin the hide of this bull out. I'm going to get the hide of this bull out. Right? This is exactly what they did to the fish. They skinned their hides out. And their flesh cut into strips for salting. Remember, I can get, for example, a piece of paper here, right? And I can cut it into strips. It's not, as, but this is one strip of paper. Let me try to get a big, uh, better one. Yeah, fair enough. This is a strip of paper. Uh, by the way, this idea of strip sometimes is the same as the idea of taking off your clothes. That's why we have the expression strip tease, because as the person strips, you know, gets the clothes off, the person is teasing who is watching. 